All right, guys, today we've got the brand new James Brood Odyssey rooftop tent. We finally got them in. Uh, we've seen these before. We did a review video of it at SEMA with Antonio from James Brood out of Portugal. Um, we got the unit in. This one is a metallic gray color. Um, there's black metallic gray. I believe in about a couple of months, there'll be a white variant uh, coming. This is the closest in terms of the shape and size of the Legacy line. This would be the closest thing to a James Rude standard size evasion or medium size evasion. So yeah, we're gonna unbox this thing and we're excited to take a look at it. So here we go. A similar, similar box as any of the other James Roods. Nicely packaged. Generally, we cut around the center. There is cardboard that lines that inside of the box, so when you do, do use the box cutter, it doesn't, uh, doesn't slice up your tent. That'd be bad. You see sometimes on, this, on some of the awning boxes, there'll be a sticker that says, do not use a razor. Um, James Root does a good job of keeping uh, the inside of that. Uh, this is pretty cool. There's the new James Bruce logo, the new white cover. Again, all the historical James Root tents, legacy tents, the current tents come with a cover for shipping. Some customers keep that cover uh, in case they're pulling the tent on and off. You don't have to. But we just noticed they're now white with the new logo instead of black and the old logo, so kind of cool. This is that protective box that I was talking about. Um, side. So put that foam spray in the corner. Take these out. Grab the mounting hardware bag. You'll notice that some of the tents now, the newer tents, have a little bit of different mounting bracketry than the old ones. The old ones were a traditional, almost like a U-bolt. It was a plate with two bolts sticking down. That would straddle a crossbar with a plate. This new system, basically a clamp that goes around the crossbar uh, that you tighten from one side. So that's in a separate bag here. So this is the metallic gray tent. I'm gonna switch the camera around here for a sec, show you guys. So right now the Odysseys are available in, the, in a black, and this is the metallic gray version. Um, just for information as well, the Odyssey tent here is probably the most equivalent to a standard or medium sized James Brood Evasion tent. Um, my understanding is that a white one will be available at some point here shortly, in the next couple months perhaps. Um, but the style in terms of the way this tent opens and closes, straight up and straight down, as opposed to this, like the old space, this one is, again, the closest to the evasion. Some immediate changes that you'll see that I'll point out. One is the way that the tent meets the top half and the bottom half. On the old style, the top half went over the bottom half. Here on the new style, on the Odyssey style tent, they meet in the middle, so this is totally flush. You'll see it as I come down here. That meeting point is totally flush. So very slick. You've got different latches here. Um, the old ones were the metal latches. Similar fan on top. James Rude classic aerodynamic styling, beautifully done. These are new, long awaited. We've been pushing for these for so long and we're so stoked to see them. Those are mounts for crossbars. So now you can carry your accessories, surfboards, whatever it is that you wanna carry. Also starts to give you a mounting point you use the crossbars, perhaps for solar panels, etc. right? So that is new on the Odyssey line as well. So really nice. The shell, 
ABS plastic as opposed to the fiberglass. Uh, incredible, kind of, it just, if you see in person, they are, they're, uh, they're real slick looking units. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Another difference that I forgot to point out is this tent has two latches instead of four. There used to be a latch in the front, two in the front, one on each side, and then two in the back on the sides. Now, it is only two latches on the back. That means you're gonna be working with two less latches than you were before, which is pretty slick. So I'm gonna open this up. So you can right away see this new fabric from James Brood. It's very similar to the fabric that is being used in some of the high-end European cars for their soft tops convertibles. So think of an Audi, think of a BMW, Mercedes, etc. Not only just the way it feels and the quality of that fabric, I don't even want to call it a canvas um, fabric, but it also has insulation qualities. So there's no more need for an insulation kit and it has sound deadening qualities. Um, so it's actually super quiet and light suppression. So three main key things in that new fabric, uh, in addition to the ability for it to be weather resistant and incredibly durable. So aesthetically, it looks real slick. Uh, nice little logos everywhere on that fabric, pretty sweet. All right, so I've opened up the tent and the first thing that's immediately noticeable to me, I mean, we've been selling James Root tents for years and years now. And one of the main things about the Evasion style tent or the Explorer, the old Grand Raid, the ones that opened straight up and straight down were the 360 degree views. That has always been a James Root thing. And it's, you know, one of those things when we first started selling them, I thought the idea was cool. Then it wasn't until I started using a James Root. It was up on top of my car at an elevated situation where those 360 degree views turned out to be really cool on top of your car. The new Odyssey tent is kind of 360 degree views, but, but even better. And I say that because I'm gonna show you guys the front is fully open, right? So obviously there's fabric, you saw it when we first opened it up to close it up, but the mesh screen here is uninterrupted all the way across and all the way around this tent, right? So in the past, it's a little bit still in the back. In the older ones, you can see this isn't mesh. Well, on the front now, that is full open. So if you're lying in the tent, and let's take a look inside here, let's say with your head back there, and you go to look out, you know, instead of our shop warehouse, you're gonna have a full 360 degree kind of view if I keep turning the camera around. Right there, that, we're inside the tent, we're looking out and there's nothing in between. That line you see in the middle, that's the crack of the cement in front of us. That's not, that's not fabric or anything. So that is a total game changer. Um, and enhances on what James Root has been known for in the past anyway. Again, this fabric, you gotta come check it, check it out to really, you'll know what I mean when I say it's a similar to a car, you know, a convertible car in terms of the fabric. Um, really nice finish on the ceiling here. Um, same fan. Storage net in the top. Um, I believe that's movable if you want to move the hooks and you want to put it somewhere else, but real nice storage. Pockets. Those are Velcro, so you could move it to there or to there via the Velcro. Built-in light. Uh, that is battery powered with a magnet on the end. There's another pouch. So, and then of course, the legendary kind of comfort of this mattress of the James Rude. So first impressions so far of, you know, actually seeing this not at a show or just having, having the time here 
looking at the tent in our own shop here is this is awesome so um yeah another thing i noticed here on the tent there's a bit of a lip here uh, which i think can help with some of the elements as well um should you uh should you need so looks real good so another another feature another difference between the legacy line and the new odyssey line is if you're using a tunnel awning on the legacy line there was a track that you would epoxy on to about right here that was conformed to the legacy tent um, on the new odyssey line that track is here it's already built in um, so there's nothing that you would need to add um, that makes it it does make it compatible so nice there's some serviceability with the fabric um, you can pull the fabric all the way out of the tracks should you need to service uh, any of the fabric pieces so that's really uh, that's really good just in terms of serviceability one other thing I forgot to mention about the tent too is the rear has has a see-through glass piece so obviously you can zip up the regular fabric right but um, let's say it's raining you still want to look out there's a clear window here it does not if I'm looking at this correctly it does not fully um, get to just the mesh piece there is mesh here I think they do that just for continuity in terms of the aesthetics um, but this is a see-through tinted uh, window so real nice um, some nice little upgrades Thank you.